my dough. They powder and paint to be what they ain't. And that's why I like my dog. They try the disposition of the finest saint. And that's why I like my dog. So I miss the stripe of married life. My only boss is my Tarzan horse. Oh, they ain't anybody can steal my heart. As long as I got my dog. How's that, Cactus? I've heard tomcats yelling. I like better. That's the darnest fool song I ever heard. Why, you ain't even got no dog. I got a horse, ain't I? Well, <laughs> I reckon I can't stop you making that noise out here, but don't never do it in front of no strangers. Oh, quit squawking, Cactus. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Just wide open spaces. No traffic to worry about. Look out, Cactus! Get off the road there! White-livered sheep herder. Easy, old-timer. There's a woman up there. And I can see you're not hurt. No, I ain't hurt. When anybody to drive a car like that woman ought to be put in a booby hat. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna let him talk that way about a lady, Tarzan? Huh? Here. Now, you lay off me, you big blonde billy goat. Oh, all right, all right, if that's the way you feel about it. Nice, Tarzan. Yeah, nice boy. <laughs> I hope you'll excuse my son, miss. He ain't even learned to ride yet. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. There doesn't seem to be room enough for both of us out here. Does there? Oh, no, ma'am. I mean, yes. I guess I was going too fast. It was all my fault. Well, these roads could stand to be... Widened here. <laughs> we don't mind, though, do we? No, ma'am. Gee, miss, I guess you got the worst of it after all. You are in quite a fix. Serves her right. We'll get you out of it all right, though. With the help of Cactus here. Was well, that your name? Yeah, my name's Cactus. And them that don't like it can... Hey, wait just a minute now, old-timer. We're pals and all that sort of thing, but where a lady's concerned... Oh, I don't mind. I think he's cute. Hey, listen. Let's help her get this car out of here. Go out and pick up the stock. Not me. She got herself into it, and I'll let her get out. Just leave him alone a minute. He'll help out. He's always like that. My name's Lila Miller. Mine's Kentucky. Folks generally call me Ken. We were on our way to El Reposo Ranch. El Reposo? Yes. My dad owns it. You're going in the cross-country race, I suppose. Yes, ma'am. We've been in 20 already. How many did you win? <laughs> well, just exactly 20. Say, what do you got on those mules? Oh, that's things to sell to dudes. Oh, and I thought you were a real cowboy. Oh, I am, miss. That's just a sideline. See, we take old Tarzan and go around to these races. If folks want to buy, they can. Kind of helps out with expenses. Well, Miller certainly picked a godforsaken country to lose himself in. Maybe. But he hasn't done badly by himself. Locating a gold mine and operating the finest Jude ranch in the West. Say, what have you got on Miller anyway? That's my business. Yeah? 
Then what's mine? You'll find out soon enough. And if it's the Miller I'm looking for, it's going to be a very pleasant vacation. Hey, Jimmy, give me a lift to the ranch. Sure will, Miss Lila. You want a tow? No, just a lift. There's Miller's daughter now. Yeah. Rearrange those bags. You sit over there. Thank you. Not at all. Now, there are your passions. Thanks again. I'll see you at the ranch. Yes, ma'am. Pardon me. I never seen you look sillier in all my life. That's kept me out of the clutches of the ornery sex for nigh on to 40 years. But by cracky, I reckon you need it worse than I do now. Hey, listen, you old scorpion. Cut it out. Help me get a rope on that car. Come well, on. She said she'd send for it. Well, she may forget it. And besides, I haven't had a ride in a good car for a long time. Come on. I won't do it, Dad Gummies. I just won't, and that's final. Oh, you may have health, and you may have wealth, and your clothes may fit like a glove. But early or late, you're a lonesome skate, if you can't find a girl to love. Oh, you may be king of everything, with a mustache you can't twirl. But when you sigh and you don't know why, it's because you ain't got a girl. But I felt sure you were a New York girl. No, this is my home. City chokes me. No air, no mountains, no moonlight on the desert. But you went to school in the East, that's a certainty. Graduated last year. Now I'm helping Dad run his ranch. Oh. Sounds like a big job. Not at all. I love it. But don't you ever get lonesome out here? There are lots of people around. Oh, I don't mean that kind of lonesomeness. I mean lonesome for some particular person. Well, he will be after you get on him, lady. You see, he kind of likes you. <laughs> Why, Lila, what are you doing on the stage? Where's your car? Back at the fork in the ditch. Oh, you monkey. Welcome to El Reposo, gentlemen. How are you, Mr. Tracy? Glad to see you again. Thanks. This is Mr. Chandler. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Chandler. I'm Charlie Miller. I hope you'll find peace and rest here. Thanks. Nice place you have here. Oh, it's a great spot, isn't it? Yes, great spot. For someone who wants to get away from the past. Did you say your name was Miller? Yes, Charlie Miller. Why? Oh, nothing. For a moment, you reminded me of someone I used to know when I was a boy. But his name wasn't Charlie Miller. Well, maybe I'm a twin and don't know it. <laughs> maybe. Pete will show you the quarters. I'll take you around later. Thanks. Well, young lady, what happened to your car? Well, Dad, you see, it was like this. I didn't think I was going so awfully fast. No. Oh, really? <laughs> that him? Miller? Sure. Pretty swell job, that daughter. Uh-huh. That's not what we came down here for. No, but I wouldn't mind leaving with it. When are you going to crack down on Miller? When I get ready. In the meantime, your job's to take orders, not ask questions. And he's coming here to sell things. I want you to help him. He's awfully sweet. What's this? A sweet cowboy. Oh, Daddy's regular. Oh, you'll like him. <laughs> A sweet cowboy. Come along. Now, gaze on these wonderful contraptions here, folks. Why, just a look at them will make you feel an act western. 
Imagine the proud look on your horse's face when he sees you in one of these outfits. Now, me and my young son here was raised pets. Born with a gold spoon in the mouth. The darn thing tore us and we had to leave home to make a living. Now, just a minute. Now take a look at these beautiful silver spurs. They jingle with every step and make you feel proud to walk. And if you listen, if you listen very careful, you can hear them sing a song of love. What's that about the song of love? Oh, I said, Mom, that if you listen right careful, you'd sing a song of love. But you have to listen. And uh, can they really sing? Oh, yes, sir, Mr. Miller. They sing a beautiful little song entitled A Steal at 50 Bucks. Hmm. Well, it certainly is a steal, but I'm not suggesting who's the thief. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dad, why don't you buy them? It's first prize for the race. At, uh, 50 bucks? Here you are, mister. Guaranteed to straighten knock knees and won't rub a blister. Even give you a genuine western bow-legged look. Only 250 bucks. You peddlers have worked up quite a sucker racket. My name's Cactus, mister. And don't you forget that I'm prickly. Miss Miller, who is that stranger over there? Mr. Chandler. Thanks. Well, Mr. Chandler, huh. think of my meeting you here. And uh, think what a break you're getting, meeting me. Get a real Western outfit for, say, about 100 bucks. Thanks, but personally, uh, I don't care to look like a fool. What's that? I said thanks, but I don't care to look like a fool. Ah, uh, my mistake. My mistake. But in this case, I don't think the clothes would make any difference. Oh, look, Mr. Chandler, I'll take beauties. Dad's buying them for the open race. Automobile? No, silly. Horses. We have a race every year through Five Mile Canyon. Slides, jumps, everything. Well, that's very interesting. I watch it from the grandstand. Uh, have you bought your Western outfit yet? Uh, well, uh, I'm considering this saddle. How much did you say it was, my good man? Four hundred dollars. Very reasonable. I'll take it. Bring it over to my bungalow. I think the best spot's down the ravine where there's a lot of brush. I've picked the exact spot. I'll show it to you tonight. Want me to stretch a rope? The rope will show. Better use a wire. I'll explain just what I want this evening. Fearing with a horse race is mighty risky business out in this country. I think it would be better... I'll do the thinking. You just ride to win. So I hear you're not betting on my prong, eh? Letting your poor old dad down. No, I'm not. I'm betting a little, but... I'm putting most of my money on Tarzan. <laughs> you mean you're putting most of your money on Ken? Yes. Tarzan and Ken. <laughs> there you are. Good luck. Oh, hello. Thanks a lot. And a good-looking horse place I see around here, I may need it. You won't need any more than I'm wishing you. Well, how's the betting? Tell you the truth, sir, I don't know. I hear there's a lot of money being put down on Tarzan and my horse. Well, maybe so. Well, good luck, Ken. Thanks, Mr. Miller. Bye. I think I'll take a little stroll around and size up our competition. All right, Cactus. Stay away from that bet, and you know you're a failing. Me gamble? Oh, you know I've been cured of that. Yeah? Mm. When? <laughs> Want to bet? I don't think I feel like betting today, Chandler. Oh, come on, old man. Let's forget yesterday. Which one is his? That's the one. I spotted it this morning. Well, there's no harm done, Chandler. If you feel that way about it, I'll take you on for 50 bucks. Fifty dollars? Well, you haven't got the courage to put up your horse, have you? 
Don't worry none about my courage. I just simply can't bet something don't belong to me. Me and Cactus are partners and everything, that's all. You won't need that wire. I'll have him out of the race before he gets to the ravine. We won't take any chances. Get down there and be ready for him if he does come through. Now, just look and see if he had any teeth. He's got enough to bite off this race, I guess. I understand you haven't got much chance today, Tracy. What do you mean? I've got it in the bag. Oh, yeah? Everybody else is going for Tarzan. Mm, maybe. But Ken's partner doesn't expect him to win. Me? Why, that gummy Tarzan will be so far ahead it'll look like the other horses are running in another race. Would you like to lay a little bet on that? I sure would. We done a good business today. Six hundred and sixty dollars. Covered. Why, oh, this will be safe with me. Your partner and I were talking about betting uh, Tarzan. Oh, no. Ken wouldn't put up Tarzan. Wouldn't he? You were the only thing that was keeping him back. He said you were half owner. I'd risk a thousand against Tarzan. You would? Ken left the decision up to you, Cactus. A thousand dollars. Ken and me can sure use that. Oh, you better forget it, Cactus. Tarzan doesn't stand a chance against that horse. Oh, what are you talking about? Tarzan will walk away from him like he's standing still. I'll bet a thousand dollars cash against Tarzan right this minute. I bet you had two mules and my other horse again a hundred dollars. You're wrong. Throw in the dude clothes and I'll make it five hundred dollars. I'll take it. Ah, chicken feed. Why don't you go the whole way and put up Tarzan? Oh, I, I, I just couldn't do it. Kennedy. Well, he said it was up to you. You're a senior partner, aren't you? You wait here. I'll talk to Ken. Ah, uh, it's too late. I've got to get this horse to the barrier. Looks like you're a cinch, Tracy. The old man doesn't seem to have any confidence in Tarzan. Maybe he's afraid Ken's gonna throw the race. Mm. Wait a minute. I'll take that bet.
Congratulations, Tracy. You rode a great race. Right. Yeah. What happened to Ken? Well, that's too bad. He would have won, but he took a bad spill back at the ravine. Why? Well, just can't understand it. Tarzan, he never lost his footing before. Well, there's a first time for everything, you know. Yeah. We'll turn over everything to you as soon as I see Ken. They was egging me on and egging me on, and the old gambling fever got me. I just know they couldn't lose. Well, we've been broke before, haven't we? He looked like a perfect sense. Tarzan, he never lost a race. Why, he wouldn't know how. So I... I bet him, too. I bet Tarzan. Why, you couldn't. You couldn't do that to me, Cactus. I ain't asking you to forgive me. I'd sooner cut off my arm than hurt you. I just wanted you to understand before I go. You got a mighty fine idea of what being a partner means, haven't you? I know it. Well, you don't act like it. Talking about running out on me, leaving me. Well, you old Billy Goat, what did you do without me? Forget it, old partner. We lost the race, but I'm not so sure we lost Tarzan. Oh, oh. What do you mean? Look here. Something cut him bad here. I see what it was. This wire is brand new. It's just been broken, too. Somebody's a. Uh... Take a look at that. A cow hand with a twisted heel. Yeah, and a city dude with a rubber one. All we got to do now is find the men that fit them shoes. Yeah, that's all. Well, old timer, we've been framed. Cutting them poor knees of yours, too. I got a powerful feeling that man Chandler. I'll find the boots that made them prints if it takes me 17 years. Interesting people. We could have a great time seeing them together. I believe I could make you very happy. A proposal? I've met a great many girls, but this is my first proposal, believe me. Oh, I appreciate the compliment. But I don't want to marry, just yet. You don't dislike me? Of course not. But there's lots of time. And after all, Father does... I'm sure he won't stand in the way of your happiness. In fact, I'll go and see him right now. You wouldn't do that. Oh, he'll be glad to see me. You come here a total stranger, and out of a clear sky demand. Demand that I give you my daughter. <laughs> I think you'd better take your vacation somewhere else. You're beginning to set my teeth on edge. Do I make myself clear? Yes, indeed. Very clear. In fact, you're beginning to set my teeth on edge. And the best thing you can do is to get out. Maybe yes, maybe no. Suppose we take off the masks. What do you mean? You said you didn't know who I was. Take another look. 
Who are you? It took me a long, long time to find you. I'm Monty Corber's son. Monty Corber? When you broke parole and ran away... For heaven's sake, Chandler! Corber! Matt Corber! Very well. Corber. I did your father no wrong, and you know it. I was innocent, and you ought to know that too. I came out here to get away from it all and try to forget for my daughter's sake. You can't come in now and ruin everything. Well, that's up to you. And you're a very charming daughter. Why, you... Take it easy. Take it easy. Same old trick. Yeah. I learned it from the old man. Well, what do you want? Plenty. I'm muscling in. I won't be a bad partner, Charlie. And I won't be such a bad son-in-law. But I might be a bad witness against you. Beginning tomorrow, I own half this ranch. And half the gold you get out of the hills. Bare-faced robbery. Call it what you like. But don't mistake it for a bluff. I'm taking it on the lamb. You're taking it on the lamb. Did I tell you? No, I'm telling you. Getting tired of living, are you? No. I want to keep healthy. And that'll be plenty tough to do if that Kentucky ever pins the goods on us. I tell you, he suspects something. Ah, that mug doesn't know a thing. You're just turning yellow. If you've got Miller where you want him, why don't you get that shipment of gold that's coming in tonight? It's a big one. Give me my half and let me go. Your half? Ever tell you you'd get half? You'll get as much as I give you, and when I give it to you. If you think I'm going to stick around here just because you're falling for some jail, you'll or... stick and like it. You slip me the works long enough. You're not going to take it, take it. And here's something to make you look nice at the dance tonight. Stop, stop, I've had enough. I shouldn't take so much trouble. I ought to just pour you back in the bottle. There's only one man can run any show. And I've yet to see the person who can run me. Do you get it?
why all men skies will all be blue I'll be there with you and somewhere in the west we'll build our little nest a place where we can love in the gloaming I pray for that day in Ever in your punch? Thanks, Cactus. When skies will all be blue and I'll no, be not there for me. with you. Hey, can I sing my song now? Now? Yeah, I want to sing it right now. How about well, it? All right, then, go ahead, but okay. uh, we're going to help you. We're going to help you. The boys is not. No. Why? My mama don't allow no music played in here. My mama don't allow no music in here. Don't care what mama don't allow. Play the music anyhow, huh? My mama don't allow no accordion playing in here. Give me that. My mama don't allow no accordion playing in here. What I care what mama don't allow, I'm going to play my accordion anyhow. My mama don't allow no harmonica playing in here. She don't allow no harmonica playing in here. But I don't care what mama don't allow, I'm going to play my harmonica anyhow.
think. Oh, there he is. Mr. Miller! Mr. Miller! Thank you, Ken. What made you so late, Frank? We struck a heavy vein up at the mine today. Good work. Who's that with your father? Oh, he's the messenger from the mine. Comes in once a month. Dad's a big mine owner, you know. Interesting. They must have been growing great guns up at the mine. Sure. I brought you close to 20,000 this trip. I'll uh, send this to the express office on the ranch stage in the morning. This evening is just the beginning of our good luck. That is, if you don't let that cow-eyed blonde get you up in the corner and talk you out of it. But... You dancing, Ken? No, I... I guess I don't dance very well. Oh, I've been wanting to tell you how, how awfully sorry I feel about everything. Well, getting you to enter the race. I hate the person who made you your partner, Bet Tarzan. And I can hate awful hard, too. Even if I do have cow eyes. <laughs> Ken, honestly, I am sorry. Everything's all right with me now, Lila. You don't know how good... I understand, Ken. May I have the pleasure, Lila? Miss Lila is honored, but this dance is taken. Gee, it's kind of warm in here, isn't it? I like moonlight, too. Why, well, I, I didn't say anything about moonlight. I did. Come on. But if you like it here, Ken, why don't you stay on? Dad's not hard to get along with, and I... I don't know. I just got roving my blood, I guess. I'd like to, but... Oh, then you will stay. have yellow bags. You better start moving before I start talking. Is Chandler in on this? No, this is my party. What are you aiming to do, double-cross him? He's the one that's doing that. Welching on his promises. Refusing to give me my split. I'm aiming to get mine right now. We're with you, Tracy. How are you going to do it? Get this and make no mistakes. The gold from Miller's mine is going to town tomorrow on the early morning stage. It's worth 20,000 bucks. That'd be worth splitting uh, if we found it. Accidental like, huh? What time does the stagecoach leave the ranch? Supposing you stay up all night and find <laughs> out. And keep your eyes peeled for that cowboy Kentucky. Yeah, why? I think he suspects something on account of what happened in the race today. And he might be looking for trouble. Are you real sure that Chandler... Oh, forget Chandler. All he's got on his mind is Miller's girl. Oh, hey, wait, wait, wait. Let me show you. This is the way to do it. Want some? No, thanks.
This place is beautiful. Look. Why did you do that? Well, now, don't be angry. I couldn't help it. Let's go back. No. Not until you kiss me. Oh, you're so beautiful, Lila. I want to... Maybe the lady don't want to be kissed. Following people seems to be one of your accomplishments. If annoying people's one of yours, I can take care of that. Wait a minute, gentlemen. Whatever you say, Miss Lila. Did Tracy give you permission to ride Tarzan? Permission? Listen, feller. Tarzan's mine till I give him up. Now, I'm not ready to give him up yet till I find out a few things. Let's ride back to the ranch. Ride along with you? Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Oh, there we are. Ready? Not hurt. No, I'm all right. But I wish your friend had a little more restraint. I had my horse under perfect control. It's all right. Nothing's the matter. Not a thing in the world. Just a minute. Give me those reins. Look at here, partner. Being kind to horses is part of my life. You use that quirt again, I'll make you walk home. I guess stopping runaways is my specialty today. Stranger. Who did it? Bandage. Three of them. They got the gold shipment. The gold? Yes, the gold from Miller's Mine up in the hills. How far back did they get you? I stopped the creek. I watered my horses. They were laying for me. I made a break. One of them got me. I passed out then. What did they look like? I couldn't tell you. Will you be all right if I leave you here? I reckon. I'll go back and see what kind of a trail I can pick up. I just remember, one of them is riding a pinto horse. Okay.
Drop that gun. Drop it. Now get away from it. Back it up. Where's the rest of them? All right. Sheriff will make you talk. Look, the Palomino horse. So he is here, huh? What could be sweeter? Come on, get going. I'm not going to let you stall any longer. Come on. How about using your phone, fella? Sure, go ahead. Yeah, he's right here for you, Mr. Tracy. Yeah. Listen, everything's gone haywire. Well, what happened? What's the matter? Kentucky must have talked to that stage driver and trailed us. He caught up with us at the camp. Hank and Bill weren't fast enough for him. Did Kentucky get the gold? Yeah, but, but he doesn't know about you. Good. We can't have any leaks now. He'll probably turn the stuff over to the sheriff. Uh-huh. You get to that stage driver, and this time, don't miss. I'll see that the sheriff gets a story that'll tie that Kentucky into knots. Okay. Hi, Sheriff. You're just the man I'm looking for. Yeah, and you're just the man I'm looking for. Get down off that horse. Well, what's the matter? You ought to know. The stagecoach is held up. Yeah, I know it. And here's the gold. Well, what's your story? Why, I stopped that runaway stagecoach and the driver told me... the driver it. told you? Yes. You can't get away with that lie. The driver was found dead, shot between the eyes. Shot between the eyes? Yes, a telephone message just come through. You're what? under arrest for murder and highway robbery. Sheriff, I... Wish there wasn't so much evidence against you, Ken. You ain't a bad fellow. Thanks. Well, what's the sheriff doing here? Why isn't he guarding his prisoner? Good evening, Sheriff. Howdy, Miss Lila. I'll be ready for the dance you promised me as soon as we turn this gold shipment over to your father. He's inside dancing. Is that the gold that Ken stole from the stagecoach? A man is innocent until he's proved guilty. Well, I'm off duty now. How about that dance? Excuse me, Mr. Chandler. You know, I hate to think of Ken in that uncomfortable old jail. The jail might be uncomfortable, but you don't hate to think of Ken. <laughs> Say, who arrested you? Hello there, old man. Did you miss me, huh? Huh? Did you? I'm sorry, but I guess he just got lonesome. Too bad, but we'll have to tie him up. Better make it a hard knot. He might untie it again.
What's keeping that? He's holding up the game. Maybe he tied himself up and turned the horse loose. <laughs> Some dancers, Sheriff. <laughs> Not so good anymore. Getting old, I guess. <laughs> Steady, old man. I thought that was... that was Miller's gun? You ought to know. I don't understand it. Keep your shirt on, Cactus, and your mouth closed. Now speak up, Ken. Tell me exactly what happened. I guess we can see what happened. The question is why. Well, how about it? If you don't mind, Mr. Miller, I'll speak my little piece later. All right, Ken. But I'll have to lock you up until I can get in touch with the sheriff. All right, sir. Better send for a doctor to get that bullet out. The size of it might make a big difference. Good idea. Hadn't you better get everybody out of here and lock things up so that... Touched. Everybody out, please. I'll lock the window. Ken. That's all right, Cactus. I'll take care of myself. You saddle Taurus. All right, buddy. Let's go over to the garage. I want. He's a killer. I wonder. Yeah. <laughs> you! 
Why, you old rat, we thought you were Ken. Ah, oh, so I'm a rat, huh? What's the idea? I'll show you. That's the heel I was telling you about. He's the one that tripped Tarzan and cheated Ken out of the race. If you're looking for that bullet, maybe you better wait for the doctor. The doctor won't do him any good. When I'm through with you, he won't do you any good. A dangerous man, Sheriff. I followed him. Found him robbing the safe and had to fight for my life. It's not worth much, Chandler. You're going to swing for murder. He's crazy, Sheriff. We found him here with a gun in his hand. It's not the gun killed him, Tracy. Where's your proof? This is Chandler's gun. Here's where he carried it. That gun's just been shot, Sheriff. It's a frame-up, Sheriff. I wasn't found in the room. No one saw me kill Tracy. Circumstances are against you, Ken. But the facts are again Chandler. This is a 25 caliber bullet. Fits Chandler's gun, too. Mine is a 38, Sheriff. Matt Corbin, you're under arrest. What do you mean? My name's Chandler. Listen, city mug. When you pulled that blackmail stunt on Charlie Miller, he naturally came and told me. First, because all charges against him were squashed years ago. And second, we decided to give you enough rope to hang yourself. All you've got is his word against mine. It's about time I uncarked on you. The party's over. Your game worked yesterday, mine worked tonight. What game? I got more on you than my word. The next time you try to fix a race, pick out some hands that won't turn white-livered and squeal. Who says so? This wire that you strung up to trip Tarzan says so. Torn cut knees on Tarzan say so. The heels on that pair of shoes up in your closet say so. Anytime the sheriff has time to compare him with the tracks I showed him yesterday. Ah, that's a big bluff. No one saw me there. Here's a note we found in Tracy's room. Maybe you'd like to hear it. To whom it concerns. Chandler planned to get the gold. He planned the crooked horse race. Tarzan still belongs to Kentucky. If anything happens to me, blame Chandler as he threatened to kill me. Tracy. A dirty, double-crossing rat. I'm glad I... Thanks, Chandler. I just wanted to make sure. You hung up a sign when you come back after that boat. I wish you'd do me a favor and try and get away. I'd like to save the state all that rope. And it's for that stage hold up, Ken. My deputies just got back from investigating your story, and you're plumb innocent. They found one of Tracy's men in the shack, still alive, and he's confessed. You're lucky Tracy left that letter. You had nothing on me. We didn't have any letter, Chandler. I'm glad we thought of it. Come on. Ken, you're wonderful. Thanks, Lila. Let you and me go out and look at that moonlight. Come on. Oh, there ain't no 
woman can steal my heart as long as I've got my dog. Lug that over to Romeo. He probably won't take it, but he sure needs it now. 